Hi, I'm Jay Rhodes with Denison Yachting. Today we're going to be doing a walkthrough on a 72-foot Hatteras motor yacht built in 2008. This 72 has the classic style and layout that's propelled Hatteras forward for decades. Endless Summer couldn't be more appropriately named. She's a machine of leisure and was designed with a degree of comfort and sophistication that keeps the owner's preferences ahead of the manufacturer's. This yacht is ideal for the owner-operator or cruising couple, and this is what we'll be demonstrating throughout our time on board today. A major selling point is her semi-enclosed fly bridge. Not only is it air-conditioned, but it's perfectly laid out so that the captain and guests have a common area when underway. The Hatteras 72 has a three stateroom layout forward with a large aft cabin that is plush and open enough to be considered a fourth guest stateroom or crew stateroom. I'm excited to take you aboard now and show you everything that this immaculate motor yacht has to offer her new owner. Today's walkthrough will begin on the stern. Removable stanchions hem in the swim platform that's situated close to the water. The benefit here is that you can easily get on and off the yacht or your tender with little or no hassle. The Eurostyle transom has two 100 amp shore power connections on the starboard side. Center line is a watertight access door to the aft accommodations. Let's step inside. On the starboard side is a walk around queen berth, and there's a separate ensuite to port. If you're an owner operator, you just gained a cabin for guests that feels nothing like a crew cabin. Forward is the engine room. This area can only be described as immaculate. This is where we see a pair of Caterpillar C32 engines with 1550 horsepower on each side. She's also equipped with twin Caterpillar generators. As far as performance goes, Endless Summer has a cruise speed of 20 knots and has a top end speed of 24 knots. Let's pick back up on the aft deck. This area is surprisingly calm and shaded when underway due to the removable mesh screen aft. The entire aft deck is covered by a molded fiberglass hardtop and has all of the benefits of an outdoor space, but with a little more protection. Flybridge axis is on the port side, and we'll be revisiting this area later. The Hatteras 72 has walk-around side decks to both port and starboard. They allow for swift access to the bow with plenty of stainless handholds. The stainless railing continues all the way around the bow. Up here is a large sun pad that can transform manually into chase style seating. This is a great space for getting some alone time with the sunset and soaking in your surroundings. The shape of her bow and the way she cuts through the water is almost hypnotizing. A perspective from the waterline shows you just how large and capable this motor yacht is. Now follow me aft as we make our way into the salon. This is an entertainer's salon with plenty of seating and a convenient wet bar. Woodwork in the salon and throughout the yacht is done in an African mahogany with Mapa Burl accents. The main deck interior sole is teak and maple. This granite top sunken bar easily services the aft deck and the salon because of the custom storage and its close proximity to both areas. There's also a wine chiller behind the bar. We also see a door that accesses the aft accommodations and the engine room. A 42 inch TV is mounted just after the bar on an angle so it's visible from the entire salon. Forward of the bar on the port side is the formal dining area on board with a stunning and timeless burled mahogany hardwood table. When you're done eating, you can wind down with a glass of wine over a game of cards. Forward on the starboard side of the salon is the day head. Now let's check out the galley. With its country kitchen layout, this galley functions as one of the most high traffic areas on board. 
Centerline is an island with a pair of sub-zero refrigerator drawers and a beautiful stone countertop. This is right next to another sub-zero side-by-side refrigerator and freezer. The custom galley appliances also consist of a sharp oven with a four burner cooktop and an exhaust hood just above. There's also an undermounted twin sink basin and a pair of concealed dishwasher drawers. Forward is an aft facing L-shaped dinette with built-in buffet to port. On the starboard side is the second flybridge access on board and is somewhere we'll revisit. Follow me below deck and aft to the master stateroom. This is a full beam master illuminated by large hull side windows. Center line is a king berth that makes the most of this large owner's suite. Port and starboard is storage as well as a vanity. On the forward bulkhead are a pair of full sized hanging lockers. The ensuite has a his and hers layout that's separated by an enclosed shower stall with frameless glass doors. Immediately outside of the master is the custom owner's office or den. This is a perfect cozy space to recover after a long day when you need peace and quiet or to get some work done. Next we come to an upper and lower bunk room. Just forward in the companionway is the ship's washer and dryer. Our final stateroom is forward and right next to a guest head with a stall shower. Leaving here, we step into the VIP, which is in the bow. There's also an ensuite with shower in this stateroom. Now let's head back up the stairs and make our way to the flybridge. This semi-enclosed flybridge has been a motor yacht feature coveted for ages. It's air-conditioned and well-appointed as a primary gathering place on board. The easy to see why glass enclosure is also removable. Forward is the centerline helm. It offers excellent visibility and because it's protected from the elements, it gives the captain peace of mind when they find themselves in rough weather. There are four daylight display monitors, all of which are interchangeable. Between these monitors is a Furuno RD30, which is set up to display depth and navigation data. Below this is a Simrad Autopilot. To port are a pair of VHF radios. There's also a Hatteras alarm system and a Carlisle and Finch Night Finder thermal camera and searchlight control. Also, there are two Furuno Navnet units, which are interfaced to the daylight display monitors. To starboard are bow and stern thruster joysticks and her cat electronic engine controls. Facing the helm are two crown limited helm chairs, which are top of the line. After the helm is seating for eight that benefits from the air conditioned enclosure. On the port side is a wet bar, again with three crown limited bar stools. After the flybridge is the boat deck. In the forward section is a grill on the starboard side. There's also a custom bench seat which faces forward. All the way aft is her Rendova tender which is positioned right next to a 1500 pound davit. Thank you for taking the time to join me on board Endless Summer. This 72 motor yacht is a prized link in the chain of timeless and capable yachts built by Hatters. On behalf of the team at Denison, we appreciate the time you take to join us on board these walkthroughs. If you would like any additional information on Endless Summer or to schedule a time to see her in person, you can contact me anytime.